What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with week number five in year number three of our San Francisco 49ers franchise with the 49ers getting ready to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. The 49ers are a team on the rise coming into this game 4-0 and on the season with some very quality wins as well. We're seeing the emergence of Cody Kessler. The defense has really been stepping up and making plays when they need to, and this 49ers team is really clicking at the moment. They are going up against the Eagles though coming into this game two and one they just had an early season bye week and they are definitely an interesting team to keep an eye on now they have moved away from Carson Wentz at quarterback Richie will be getting the start instead and it's definitely an interesting situation for them taking quarterbacks in back-to-back -back drafts they gave up a lot to get Wentz they decided they didn't like him and we're gonna have to see how that decision pays off for him right now it is looking pretty solid again you know they're two and one not bad right now but they started off the season Season really well last year and kind of crumbled towards the end we'll have to see if they still have that momentum of early season success here in week number five and we are underway this is going to be fielded by Kirkland Marion a very short kick there and Marion will return this one up to the 29 yard line and that is where Cody Kessler and company will get things going again Kessler having a great season early on for this 49ers team 10 touchdowns only three interceptions on the season just under 12 hundred yards and the 49ers are going to get things going with a handoff to Kirkland Marion. He has been struggling in recent weeks, but he is certainly capable of making a big play at any moment. Here's Dimitri Todman with the reception. He will be shy of the first down. It'll be third and one and Marion will deliver the first for the 49ers on a two yard gain. First and ten. Kessler looking to throw over the middle. It's Austin Safari and Jenkins across midfield down to the 41 yard line of Eagle territory. Pressure on the way and Kessler are barely getting the ball out of his hands there as we take a look at the San Francisco 49ers offense here and offensive line really not doing a great job early this season they've been giving Kessler adequate protection but the run blocking has really left a lot to be desired Kirk Lemarian and Carlos Hyde have been struggling to get open there second down and 10 and pressure on the way that is Fletcher Cox on the sack third and 16 now down the right side of the field Dimitri Todman and they are going to get a defensive pass interference against the former 49er Tremaine Brock and that is a fresh set of downs Corey Essex in the end zone unable to hold on to the ball and that is a big drop for the 49ers as we take a look at the Eagles defense and a ton of playmakers here for the Eagles one of the best defensive lines in the NFL right now linebackers they got some great players in Tolick Kendricks and Kennard as well secondary leaves some to be desired not a great cornerback situation they do have some solid safeties though second down and 10 pressure coming again and Kessler going down for the second time Benny Logan on the sack it'll be third and 18 to the end zone here and once again it is another defensive pass interference on Tremaine Brock unable to stay with Dimitri Todman a pitch to Kirkland Mary and he is going to lose some yards on the play second down and goal over the middle Dimitri Todman into the end zone that is a San Francisco 49ers touchdown and they will take a 7-0 lead early on but this really coming down to the pass interference by Tremaine Brock without that the 49ers might have had to punt the ball or at the very least getting a field goal so two big penalties there by the former 49er and the 49ers in turn will take the 7-0 lead over the Eagles and that will bring out the young quarterback for the Eagles, Zach Ritchie, again deciding to move on from Carson Wentz. Zach Ritchie getting the nod. Three touchdowns, two interceptions on the season through three games. It'll be first and ten and a handoff to McKinnon on the left side. McKinnon, a decent run there. A gain of about nine, second down and one. Ritchie looking to throw. He will find Doriel Green Beckham on the left side. That is good for a six-yard gain. Little read option here. Ritchie going down, not fooling the defense there at all. Second down and 11 down the right side. Really throwing this one away away in the direction of Doriel Green Beckham. So he got hit by Demarcus Avery there. And let's go ahead and take a look at the Eagles offense here. Uh, some players on the offensive line, but they do have a lot of question marks there as well. They do have a lot of playmakers though. Doriel Green Beckham, Ertz, Jordan Matthews there as well. And then McKinnon running the ball, a little play action. Now Richie under pressure and he is going to get away. Richie on the move and he will slide down. He is shy of the first down and the 49ers will take over after a very bad punt it wasn't even a great return just not a good punt second down and eight Corey Essex holding on to the ball this time to the 40 
37-yard line. Once again, Kirkland Marion just nowhere to go. Second down and 10 over the middle. Dimitri Todman with the reception down to the 34-yard line. First and 10. Kessel looking to throw again. Pressure on the way on the right side. He will find Willie Sneed. Not much of a gain. Only about two yards there. Second down and eight. Here is Austin Safarian Jenkins. And he will take it down to the 18-yard line for a 14-yard pickup. Here's Ala Wally on the right side. A gain of about five. Second down and five. On the left, it's Dimitri Todman, and he will fight his way through some defenders to pick up the first down. It will be first and goal, and Corey Essex down to the one-yard line there. Second down and goal, Kirkland Marion untouched into the end zone, and the 49ers have a 14-0 lead, looking to keep this early season momentum going with a great start here in week number five, and the Eagles defense just unable to slow down this 49ers offense that has so many weapons. Zach Ritchie and the Eagles offense need to make something happen here, but instead he is going down. Zach Brown on the sack, second down and 19. Here's Aguilar with the reception. He will take it to the 23-yard line. It'll be third and 12. Ritchie down the right side, and Doriel Green Beckham coming down with it. Excellent coverage by Chantrell Wilkerson, but it was not enough after a spectacular catch there. Now McKinnon falling forward, picking up the first down. McKinnon again, a pretty solid start to his game. Four carries. 25 yards. He is going down at the hands of Aaron Lynch there. Those sec uh, third down and six actually and it's Zach Ertz over the middle all the way down to the five yard line and the Eagles are on the move. McKinnon going down. Sean Kendall on the tackle but it was a holding call that the 49ers will accept so it'll be second down and goal from the 12 yard line. Zach Ritchie looking for the end zone here. Pressure on the way and he will get the ball off Doyle Green Beckham into the end zone. That is a touchdown for the Eagles and we have a 14-7 ball game. Excellent patience and great pass protection for Zach Ritchie there. And he will find the open guy in Doriel Green Beckham who got lost within the defense there. And that's an easy touchdown. Guesser and Avery in the coverage. It was zone though and it looks like he kind of lost Avery there. And uh, easy touchdown for the wide receiver who joined the Eagles in a trade a few years ago. And we have a 14-7 ball game. Hand off to Kirkland. Marion on the right side. Once again, no gain there. Second down and 10. Pressure on the way. Kessler going to throw it away here. That'll bring up a third down and 10 for the 49ers. Down the left side, Willie Sneet unable to hold on to the ball. Not a great read by Kessler. And the Eagles will take over with great field position and an opportunity to tie this game up. Second down and 8 on the right side. Doriel Green Beckham down the field. And he is getting away from Chantrell Wilkerson who finally catches him down at the five yard line and here is McKinnon who fumbles the ball into the end zone Zach Brown picks it up and the 49ers will get the ball back an untimely fumble by McKinnon on the play and it looks like Navarro Bowman might have forced it either him or Sean Kendall I believe Zach Brown will recover and the 49ers have it at the 15 yard line here's Kirkland Marion on the outside he avoids the tackle and Kirkland Marion is gone the 10-5 touchdown for the 49ers in a matter of two plays the 49ers were looking at a tie ball game and instead have a 21 to 7 lead over the Philadelphia Eagles one running back makes a mistake the other makes a big time play and we talked about it even through Kirkland Marion struggles we know he has the ability to blow the top off the defense and that is what we saw here big play by Kirkland Marion as the Eagles come back out onto the field. Richie on the right side going to connect with Matthews. Not much of a gain there though. Second down and seven and this is going to be McKinnon on the right side who was having a good game outside that fumble but he is going down with an injury on the play. First down and ten on the right side. Zach Ertz with the reception. He will take it up to the 42 yard line. First and ten. This is going to be the rookie Nick Warfield selected in the first round. Looked at as the best running back in the class and here he is with another nice run, a gain of about nine yards there. 17 yards on three carries for him. Zach Ertz, a big tackle by Zach Brown there. Second down and two on the left side. This is Nick Warfield, and nobody is covering him into the end zone. That is a touchdown for the Philadelphia Eagles, and we have a seven-point ball game once again, and this one is turning into a shootout. 21-14 in the first half here. 
and I'm not sure who blew coverage on that one. I believe it was Sean Kendall's man. He, of course, was on the opposite side of the field, so when he just jolted to the left, Kendall had some ground to make up there and just was unable to do so, and the rookie running back would get a touchdown. Kirkland Marion up the middle. A gain of about three yards there. Second down and seven. Another handoff to Marion. He has some room there. He will take it just shy of the first down. Third and one. Kirkland Marion one more time. That is a first down for the 40. Niners first and 10. Kessler on the left side to Willie Sneed and now Sneed will get behind the defense and nobody will catch him back to back. Big plays on drives for the 49ers and they will go on top with a 62 yard touchdown by 14 once again. 28 to 14 is going to be the score in the first half and just not good coverage there and Willie Sneed the veteran wide receiver will make the Eagles defense pay. They really Really need to keep some safeties just waiting in case of a big play because the 49ers at this point so many playmakers on the field and that one is almost intercepted there second down and 10 on the right side Ertz with the reception he is taken down by Sean uh, actually by Sean Trell Wilkerson at the 36 yard line pressure coming and Tajay Veal the rookie will get the sack the Eagles forced to punt the ball away 45 seconds to go before halftime and here is Kirkland Marion on the return he gets outside and has an open field in front of him Kirkland Marion one defender to beat he does another defender going to make up the ground that is Huff on the tackle and great field position for the 49ers Carlos Hyde a one yard run there over the middle Austin Safari and Jenkins down to the 18 yard line first and 10 a screenplay to Carlos Hyde unable to get free there though second down and 11 to the end zone looking for Dimitri Todman excellent coverage there there and the 49ers settle for a field goal right before halftime but they will take a 31 to a 14 lead going into the break the 49ers offense looking outstanding in the first half and they are definitely looking to keep that pressure on the Eagles to improve to 5 and 0 on the early season Zach Ritchie really not a bad half for him uh, excellent completion percentage he made a few big throws one of which to Doyle Green Beckham 49ers are Definitely going to have to lock him down a bit better, but so far, a pretty great first half for the 49ers. We are back in the second half. The Eagles going to start off with the ball, looking to chip into this massive 49ers lead right now. Seven-yard run by Warfield, then Aguilar over the middle, up the midfield, an 18-yard gain. Little play action pressure on the way, and that is going to be thrown away by Zach Ritchie. Second down and 10 pressure coming again. A screen play to Warfield, and he is taken down by Chantrell Wilkerson there. Third down and five play action. Zach Ritchie under pressure on the right side. Coming back for it is Doriel Green Beckham down to the 32-yard line hand off to Warfield a one yard gain second down and nine looking for another screenplay Richie forced to throw that one away third down and nine now for the Eagles on the right side this is Hamilton getting open down to the 20 yard line first and 10 nowhere for Warfield to go second down and 11 another read option Zach Richie avoiding some tackles and he will take it down to the 13 yard line hand off to Wendell Smallwood on the right side a five yard gain first down and goal and Doriel Green Beckham another receiver down to the four yard line now Warfield trying to fight through some tackles down to the three it is third and goal and that's going to be a false start so make it third and goal from the eight Zach Ritchie under pressure on the left side he has Warfield that is not enough for a touchdown and the Eagles are going to have to settle for a field goal taking a lot of time on that drive and they don't really have time to waste at the moment but it is back to a 14 point game Kirkland Marion nowhere to go second down and nine on the left side wide open is Corey Essex no defenders near him at all and he will take it to the house the 49ers offense continuing to look outstanding against this Eagles defense right now it was originally a run and Kessler read the blitz coming switched it to 
to a pass. And then Corey Essex just getting lost within the defense there. I don't know if it was like miscommunication or what, but nobody had Essex on the play. And that is an easy touchdown. And, you know, Cody Kessler staying in the pocket, taking a big hit on the play. The score 38 to 17, back to a 21 point game. Another big catch by Aguilar, 21 yard reception there. Zach Ritchie under pressure. And that is going to be Chantrell Wilkerson on the sack and a big tackle by Buckner on Warfield there. Third down and 20 down the right side. And Doriel Green Beckham having an outstanding game. And look at Zach Ritchie. 19 of 23 on the day. You would not have guessed that looking at the scores. Marcus Gesser gets a sack. Nowhere for Warfield to go there. It'll be third down and 16. Pressure coming. And Zach Ritchie going down to Forrest Buckner making the play. And the 49ers will get the ball back as we are getting ready to go into the fourth. And Kirkland Marion breaking the tackle, going down the right side of the field. And finally taken down at the 13-yard line. It didn't look like he was going to gain much on the play, but showing excellent strength. And that is going to be Austin Schobel, the rookie quarterback, throwing his very first career touchdown pass. And that is to Shy Quan Fry. The 49ers decided to give Schobel some playing time here. And here he is. His first pass of his NFL career is good for a touchdown. Shy Quan Fry are making the play. And the 49ers continuing to run away with this. Their offense, the best. We have seen in years from the 49ers, certainly since we have taken over the franchise. Second down and nine. This is going to be Aguilar with the reception again. He has been big in today's game as well. Warfield on the right side. Not much of a gain. About two there. Second down and eight. Zach Ritchie, a wild throw looking for Ertz. Third down and eight. Ritchie on the left side. And Aguilar unable to hold on to the ball. Demarcus Avery with the hit. Fourth and eight. The Eagles are going for it. And Doriel Green Beckham will deliver. Liver again down to the 23-yard line on the right side. Aglor taken down immediately by Kendall there. Second down and eight. Hamilton cutting into the middle of the field down at the 13-yard line. But this is going to be a false start penalty. First and 15 from the 18. Another read option here. And Zach Ritchie showing his ability to run with the nine-yard pickup. And now Warfield up the middle into the end zone. And Nick Warfield, the first round selection, has his second touchdown of the game. The Eagles though really trailing in this one but it's still nice to see the young player get some touchdown experience certainly going to help him in his development really following his blocks perfectly there and that is great uh blocking by the Eagles offensive line on the play nobody even came close to him and that is his second touchdown of the day filling in for the uh, injured McKinnon, here's Carlos Hyde up the middle, avoiding some tackles down to the 38-yard line, a 13-yard gain. Hyde again up the middle. 49ers deciding to rest. Kirkland Marion do not want to risk an injury on the day. And uh, obviously, we like Carlos Hyde quite a bit as well. Third down and two, and Hyde unable to get the first, so the 49ers going to have to punt the ball away. Austin Schobel, though, two of two on the day. Down the right side, Aguilar out of bounds. Second down and 10, Aguilar with the reception this time. Jimmy Ward in coverage there. Third down and five. Throwing on the run. And he has Zach Ertz all the way to the 38-yard line for an 18-yard pickup. Zach Ritchie really showing ability as a quarterback. Again, having an outstanding game as he goes down. Tajay Veal getting his second sack of the day. It'll be third and 19. Ritchie again throwing on the run to Zach Ertz. Shy of the first. It'll be fourth and one. And Nick Warfield will deliver. And Zach Ritchie definitely. Definitely looking like a great quarterback prospect. Lassick over the middle uh, will take it down to the 39-yard line for a first down. Once again, Aguilar on the play. Unable to hold on to it. Zach Brown in coverage. This will be a false start. No, I'm sorry. That's going to be neutral zone infraction. It'll be second down and five. And Ertz wide open, avoiding the tackles. Down to the four-yard line on first and goal. This will be a false start as the Eagles moving it back to the nine. First and goal. Richie pressure on the way. Barely getting the ball out of his hands to Forrest Buckner with the hit there. Second down and goal over the middle. And that is Aguilar. Aguilar into the end zone. Aguilar and Doriel Green Beckham both having outstanding games for the Eagles here. And they've made it a two-possession game once again. But with under two minutes to go, they are really in a bind right now. And I'm not sure they're going to be able to get out of it. We'll have to see how the onside kick goes. But... 49ers really not looking that great in coverage. They've done a good job getting pressure on Zach Ritchie. They've gotten a lot of sacks, but outside that, 
Uh, he's really delivered. And the onside kick, no good. Corey Essex with the recovery. He is very good on special teams in that regard. And now the 49ers just trying to run this clock out. Of course, the Eagles anticipating the run. And that's going to bring up a third and long here. Little read option and wide open is Shaquan Fryer. He could have taken it to the end zone for Austin Schobel's second touchdown. But there's no need to run up the score. Give the Eagles the ball back. They're going to try to make some plays, which ultimately could lead to some more injuries it was a play action not a read option I know I said read option but it really didn't need to risk it anymore obviously getting that touchdown for Austin Schobel in hindsight I maybe I would have gone for it but at the time I was like I don't want to risk an injury I don't want this game to continue even more and risk uh our defense being out on the field again so 49ers will take the win 45 to 31 in a shootout of the game the offense looked outstanding throughout the entirety of the game the defense however look at that 397 yards by Zach Ritchie 30 of 40 75 percent completion three touchdowns zero interceptions um you know 49ers defense kind of letting us down a little bit today but Cody Kessler didn't care 14 and 19 233 yards three touchdowns for him Austin Schobel the rookie out of Temple three of three 42 yards and a touchdown easily could have been two touchdowns there uh but again just didn't need to run up the score. Kirkland, Marion, 13 carries, 162 yards and two touchdowns. Honestly, though, 11 of those carries, he really didn't look very good. The other two, he looked outstanding, though. Nick Warfield, three yards a carry and a touchdown for him. McKinnon did have that big fumble in the end zone, which really turned the game around. I mean, we were looking at a 14-14 to -14 score, and with the next play, obviously, Kirkland Marion took it to the house. So within a matter of seconds, the score could have been 14-14 and ended up being 21-7, to so a big fumble there. But look at Ertz, Doriel Green, Beckham, and Aguilar all having, again, outstanding games. Um, 49ers really didn't have the ball a whole lot in this one. They scored on big plays uh, numerous times. And so if you look at the play count, it was really the Eagles holding on to the ball for the majority of the game, so you're not seeing big numbers from the 49ers there. Chantrell Wilkerson, not an outstanding game by him at all. Uh, looked good early on in the game, but Doriel Green Beckham really came alive and uh, punished the 49ers defense quite a lot. It wasn't always in the direction of Chantrell Wilkerson, but a lot of it was. Tajay Veal, two sacks on the day. It was nice to see that. No, It's not showing any fumbles forced. Obviously, we did force a fumble. I don't know why it's not giving me the stat for that, but that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button if you did. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I will see you guys next time. Later.